Club Express, an overview of Village features, and an introduction to member services. Club Express is a very powerful tool for managing aging in place villages. Designed to allow membership based organizations to move their administration entirely online, Club Express handles your organization's membership database, signups and renewals, committees, documents, discussions, event calendar, and registration and financial management using the internet. Every organization that signs up for Club Express gets its own website with content to promote the organization and its activities to visitors and potential members. Members log in to see member-only content, including complete membership directory and profile. Other functions, such as discussion forums, are also reserved for members only. When administrators log in, they have access to additional functions for managing the organization, including financial tracking, website configuration, event management, and other tasks. For aging in place villages that are members of the Village to Village network, Club Express includes many special features. There is support for hub and spoke villages, including the ability to link members and service providers to a specific spoke, such as a town, village, neighborhood, etc., and to filter available service providers to those in the same general area as the member. A core function of villages is managing member services and the providers who provide those services to members. This video is a general overview of the features for villages, and then we'll take a look at service requests. Companion videos go into detail about how to configure services, add requests, and many other tasks. And there's additional information in the Village Special Features documentation. We're already logged into one of our demonstration sites as an administrator. Let's look at the tools available to Villages by clicking on the Control Panel link and then view the Services tab. As you can see, there are many items on this tab, with the most commonly used items at the top, there are reporting items in the middle, and items at the bottom are those that are not often visited after initial setup. The Services function is used to track the services provided to members. Services are organized into categories, and each service is provided through service providers who can be contractors, member volunteers, or non-member volunteers. Services are also assigned a status and a follow-up date, and the system includes a convenient scheduler screen, a daily to-do list, and multiple reports and data exports to track services. And we'll come back to this feature shortly. The optional volunteer sign-up module lets members view open requests and optionally sign up as a volunteer. They can also review committed requests as well as those that have already been completed. The Open Provider Requests module displays open provider requests that can be sorted in many ways, for example, by provider or by date. You can view each request details by editing the item and update the information as needed. Clicking on Service Requests Without a Date displays open service requests that do not have a service date specified. Again, you can edit the request to update them or delete the request if need be. The to-do list combines open log entries at the top portion of the page with requested and pending service requests at the bottom portion of the page. From the contact log list, clicking edit next to an entry will display that contact log's entry's detail so it can be updated. The data exports function lets you select the information that you wish to export to a data file that can be read by other programs such as a spreadsheet. The be a volunteer slash contractor feature lets you set up a wizard that allows non-member volunteers and contractors to register with the village. They're added to the database as not vetted, and an email is sent to a designated coordinator. Once you vet them, they can start working with members. The Find a Village Contractor module lets you select a category and service and displays the contact information for contractors who provide that service and these are only those who are configured as fully vetted. The report section has a wide range of reports that can be produced in many document and data formats. There are reports for service requests, service providers, requesting members, and volunteer providers. In the setup section, you can configure items that are used by service requests and other functions. The Service Categories screen lets you organize services into categories, and this is especially useful for larger villages. 
The Services page lets you add and edit the available services and assign them to categories. Service Provider Administration allows you to set up people who are members or non-members as service providers within your village. You can add and edit contractors as well as volunteers. Standard Destinations allow villages to more quickly create transportation service requests to frequent locations that members are taken to. The Metro Areas list is used by clubs which have a widely dispersed membership. Click on Responsible Staffers to add or edit existing staff members who are responsible for contact log entries. The Custom Fields function lets you set up and maintain up to three custom fields that display on the service request pages. The Cancellation Reasons lets you add to the built-in list of reasons why a service request is canceled. And the Service Options page allows you to configure the default options which apply to the services and service requests. Some village features are specific to people. For example, on the People tab, in the Member Manager, and in the Non-Member Database screens, there is a Contact Log function to track every contact, whether by visit, phone, email, fax, letter, or other. Contacts can be assigned to Category, Priority, Status, and Responsible Staff Person. In a Members Profile, the Additional Contacts feature lets you track additional contacts for members, including family, doctors, attorneys, caregivers, and others. Now that we've seen the range of tools available, let's look at two commonly used screens, the Member Services and the Open Requests pages. In the Services tab, clicking on the Member Services link brings us to the Member Services page. All service requests can be found here. Some villages have more than 100 different kinds of services that they offer to members. These are typically organized into a smaller number of categories to make them easier to find and to manage. Each request type is color-coded by the category to which the service belongs. At the top of the page is the search panel. This is where you make selections to filter the result list. You can specify one or more request type, request status, service category, provider type, and metro area. Note that all of these items are discussed in detail in other videos and in the documentation. You can select a single service provider, and you can also search for a single member's request. And you can limit the results displayed to a day, a week, a month, or a date range. The Show Sort area lets you further limit the list by displaying only those requests that either have no assigned date, or for service requests with an assigned date, as you click on the various radio buttons, the date field changes to let you specify results that include only the create date, or the service date, or the last modified date within that date range. The three quick filter buttons allow you to quickly limit the date range to today, this week, or this month. Clicking one of these buttons sets the appropriate date panels in the search panel above and performs the search. You can use the arrows to move forward or backward by one day, week, or month. If you don't use the quick filter buttons, you can click Search to display results based on the search criteria that you've selected, or click Reset to return to the filter settings when you first selected the page. The result panel shows up the 30 matching services with paging enabled if there are more to display. Each request shows the following information. The first line shows the service request number. A new number is assigned in sequence to each request. This number can be included in confirmation emails, and it's also included in most reports and data exports. On the left is the date and the day of week. The date panel and date itself are color-coded to indicate the category. The next column displays the specified start and finish times, a link to the requesting member's contact information, and the name of the service requested or provided. The next column shows the service request category type, the request status, and the date the request was created and last modified. Below the dates are links to the contact information for any service providers assigned to the request. 
In the rightmost column are icons representing actions that can be performed on that service request. You can hover over the legend icon above the grid to see what each icon means. The edit icon lets you edit the service request. Use the mark complete icon to mark the service request as complete. You'll see a pop-up form which allows you to collect comments, ratings, time, expenses, etc. The cancel icon lets you mark the service request as canceled and the request remains in the database. Use the delete icon to remove the service request completely. You'll be prompted to confirm the action as it cannot be reversed. Click the resend email icon to have the system resend the confirmation emails to the member and any selected service providers. Note that this icon is only displayed for confirmed requests. And you can use the copy icon to make a copy of this service request. The system supports single and multiple copies and note that this icon is not displayed for contractor referrals. There are several buttons below the search panel. We'll go into detail in other videos, but here's what the buttons do. You click the Transportation Request button to create a new service request for a transportation service to be fulfilled by a volunteer. Click the Members Home Request button to request a new service request to be fulfilled by a volunteer in the member's home. Click the Contractor Referral button to create a new contractor referral where members are provided with the names of one or more vetted contractors who can help them with their needs, and this is usually for a fee. Click Office Time Request to create an office time request where a volunteer, who is a member or non-member, helps the village itself rather than a specific member. Click the Flag Past Requests to flag all past requests that are prior to today as complete. Some villages manage service statuses and the collection of follow-up information on an individual basis, while others simply flag all past requests as complete and then collect follow-up information on an as-available basis. The presumption of this option is that, unless a service request was explicitly canceled, the member and volunteer connected and the request was fulfilled, and you'll be prompted to confirm this action. Let's take a look at another important page by returning to the control panel and clicking on the Open Provider Request link in the Services tab. This screen lists open service requests, and these are those that have a status of requested, pending, or confirmed. The most common use of this screen would be to filter based on provider name and optionally on a date range and service type. You can click on a heading to sort by that field and click on it again to sort in the opposite direction. When you click the filter button, the results will show all matching open service requests with one row for each provider linked to the request. Depending on the sorting, for example, when sorted by service provider, a single service request may be listed multiple times, one for each provider linked to the request. Although you can't add requests from this screen, you do that from the member request screen, there are several things that you can do here. You can click the edit link to edit the service request. Click the available link to adjust the provider's overall availability. Click the delete link to remove just that provider from the request. And click the vacation calendar link to adjust the dates that that provider is not available. So now you have an overview of the Club Express tools and features that are available for administering an aging in place village. Please watch the companion videos for tutorials that go into details on how to add, edit, and administer the data about your village and its services. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.